Welcome back. Now we're discussing, you know, the issues around the strike, being, uh, on, the ongoing strike by the academic staff union of polytechnics. But well, like I said before the break, colleges of education are also at home, and I have here with me the SOG president, Federal College of Education, Akoka Ulushala Ogunawa. Thanks for being here today. Oh, now you. they've talked about some of the things which uh, are the reason for the strike. You know, what, what, why is the College of Education a part of this? Yes, um, from a very reliable source, a strong source, you know, by the union. Actually, um, a coca chapter. Yeah. You know, I was fortunate to, you know, see the chairman of my chapter, that's um, Mr. Lion Ju. You know, and he spoke at length as regard that. You know, I said, what, what we, you know, we learned about that is the, the issue has been on ground since 2010, which, you know, by now we expect fair government must have attended to them. You know, I think ASU, 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 and Kohasu, oftentimes they are always having, you know, Things in common right from time before now. But as at the time Hasu went on strike, they have been promised, and that is, a fragment has promised Kuasu and Hasu then that they should not worry, that they should, you know, calm down, yeah. <coughs> that their own issue will be attended to. You know, after Hasu, after Hasu strike, you know, the, those issues were not attended to. And since it has been 2010, you know, we have 2010 um, agreement with the government, and they have other festering issues. You know, and that's the reason why, you know, after the warning strike in December, two weeks after uh, the warning strike, they decided to go on an indefinite strike. Yeah. How long has your school been on, on strike for? By July 18 this month, it's going to be seven months. Seven months. Yes. Seven months. Seven months, yes. Hmm. <laughs> um, I want to come to you now, um, um, Baba Jide. Okay. With the you talk about dichotomy. You know, between the HND and the BSC, you want it to be at par. Is that is that one of the demands? Is and also is money, with the way the you know the ASU strike was about money for the most part. Is money a factor at all in the strike? Um, well, it sounds so evident that um, you know, the ASU are more on the, their areas. The yes. county's fifteen area, but I I would not say uh, emphatically that. They, they, they went on strike because of the areas. Yes. And I will not say it emphatically, too, that they used the students as a bait. Because that would, that, would have been, uh, that would be another story to tell if eventually their money isn't paid and nothing is said about this dichotomy. But I'm very sure that all those demands are genuine. Yeah. And there's need for the government of today to look into it. Yeah. So um, the ASUP has gone on an indefinite strike because of the IRS. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that, some people have said that, you know, I mean, it's nice that you are fighting for, you know, for the HN to be at power with the BSC and all of that. But that with entries, for example, with JAMB, that is cause for the polytechnics and college of education, the cutoff mark is really lower than universities. Are you also fighting for that to be a par? Like, why would you want to get in easier and then graduate? Do you understand what I'm saying? That yeah. if you're going to fight, why not fight across board? Because I know I was listening to the radio, I think last week, and I heard about the new cutoff mark for universities for the right jam this year, 180. Yeah. And for Polytechnics and College of Education, it was put at 150. So is that the problem? Why not start from there to make things at par? Maybe all of you answer that. Let me start All right. With you. Thank you very much. You see, that issue of um, cutoff mark is not a basis at all. Because we have in our institution, Polytechnic precisely, students who have actually scored about 250, yeah. and eventually they were not admitted to, university. to the university. So on the admission to Polytechnic, does it mean those people are second class? No. But indeed, they couldn't get admission, perhaps for one reason or the other, and they eventually get admission to the into the Polytechnic. So that does not mean they should be discriminated for the fact that we actually attended the same secondary school. We have our credits complete, and we serve for the same jam. So if I actually sitting for the same UTME, then why the discrimination? So the, the issue of cut-off mark is another dichotomy that we are complaining about. Why not be on the same basis for the fact that we are actually learning the same thing or similar thing at the institution? Yeah. Rochelle, do you agree? Yeah, it's, you know, cut-off mark is not, it's not really it's not an issue. 
you know, because okay, I will tell you that some people, some some of my students, I have some colleagues that are in SC, you know, based on purpose. They they came not even because of the cost of mark, not because of uh, they were unable to meet up with university. They want to come and have a certification, and see, you know, because most of them are you know actually planning to be a teacher yeah. uh, as a form of fulfillment in their own lifetime. So get, I don't think that should be a problem for federal government to you know start dragging issues and, yeah. uh, and delaying halls at our home. So get, you know, it's not a basis. So it's a, it's another different um, scenario entirely. It should be left out. Yeah, my take on this is if HND and BSC are being breached, it is a, it's a matter of choice. I decide to go to university to, to obtain that degree. I will decide to come to a polytechnic that will still obtain the same BTEC or degree, but there are two different things. The aim of coming to that polytechnic matters a lot. The aim of going to university matters a lot. Now, the, in today's analysis, an average student wants to go to the university. Why? Because he needs the BSc certificate. Because he knows after, after, after um, graduation, he, would, he wouldn't have a very good stand in the labor market without a BSc certificate. But forgetting the fact that while in the polytechnic sector, you have been drilled, you, you go through a lot of practicals that would empower you in that labor market. But theories. So, the, the cut of mark is not a yardstick. It's not a basis at all. If necessary things are put in place to breach this dichotomy, then you can put every all institutions, um, all polytechnic and um, universities, to be at at par. Yeah. It's a matter of choice. Yeah. Decide which one to go. In, in, so, sorry, in addition to that, what you just said, you know, that reminds me of you know, there are some people that even have that degree. They come, they say go to the polytechnic or so college of education. Yes, you know, going back, especially when you want to become a lecturer and you want to become a teacher, you have to go back because of the national policy on education. You have to go back to, to NC. The NC. You know, maybe you do a one year program, then then you are now certified to be a lecturer, a teacher in a particular institution. Yeah, you know. yeah like because, like yeah. like I just said, I have a, a case scenario of a student in my own institution. He's finished with BSc in University of Illinois. He's, he's doing his HND. Yet. Now, so you have, for, for me to come to an institution, I have a reason. Yeah. You don't need to, you don't need to decide for me. This is the standard. Let us, let's, let's set the standard. Yeah. I think the, one yeah. of the biggest problems is that perception is everything. And most of the time, the perception from the general public is that polytechnics are, outside universities, is like the next second best. Oh. And that perception is what I think needs to be cleared. I don't know, by governments or by institutions. But I want to come to you now. Why is the state polytechnic involved in this? Why are you not? Why are you a part of this strike? All right. Thank you very much. If you look at it critically, as I've said, the most paramount that is affecting the student is the issue of this dichotomy. Yeah. It's called across all institutions, regardless whether it's the state or whether it's federal. For the fact that that is involved, then we all have to stand to fight against that. That it has to be breached. Because of course, if it is breached, then it is our favor. As my, my colleague have said earlier. That even students from ISD, from the university, they come to Polytechnic to have their to, to have their HND. Have a case of somebody who has actually studied mathematics from a university and come down to Lagos to Polytechnic to study chemical engineering. So it is telling us that uh, Polytechnic and uh, a, a, a university should be of the same level. Yeah. So if it has been breached, then there is no problem. So we need to fight against that. Yeah. So every other thing, perhaps we may not get all of those uh, needs, but you will agree with me if. As an example, the needs assessment committee, we are given a report that they actually came to our school also. And if they could see to that an implementation is carried on, then it will affect the state institution as yeah, well. Still with you now, seeing how, I mean, you talked about all these committees being set up and meetings being stalled. Has there been any approach from you or your, or your institution or your lecturers or the academic staff, you know, to the state governor since he might have the ears of the president? Has there been any sort of contact between you and your state governors or other institutions or state institutions and their governors? Do you know about that? Well, on, on that issue, we are working as a, as a union. Because when issues are, 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 coming from, are coming from the central level, we have to work as one. Working with the National Association of Polytechnic Students, working with the National Association of Nigerian Students, 
So on each of the uh, uh, Lagos State being carried along, we gave them the information that on this strike, this is what we are facing. And these are the challenges, these are the problems. Mm. How do we solve the problem for us? But we get to realize that even the state government could not solve the problem for us. And that was the reason why we are just joining the strike, because we believe that much of this is for the federal uh, 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 polytechnics. Yes. Now, if, since they could not solve it, we now look at it, okay, it's affecting the state polytechnics also, and you believe me that also themselves, they are union, of which the state uh, uh, polytechnics will belong, and the federal polytechnics are equally a member. So if you are automatically a member, then there is a need for you to actually belong to that union. Otherwise, the state polytechnic will have withdrew from that, uh, from that yeah. strike. But because they are a member, and I believe they will have their own constitution guiding all of their members. Perhaps that is what is keeping the state institutions that are still present there now. Otherwise, they will have backup because the state government wouldn't want their state to be part of this strike. But from the student angle, that aspect of dichotomy, we want it to be breached. Yeah. I think that even leads me to my next question because I was going to ask, most of this, I mean, it's the academic staff that are on strike, which means most of these demands are the academic staff's demands. So I guess this, that's one of the demands also that the students want. So my question was going to be, what do the students really want out of this? Yeah, um, like, like I rightly said the other time, if part of the uh, aforementioned uh, demands, the 13-point demand highlighted by ASUP, if uh, it has been a one-sided thing, it, uh, it would have been a, a case of a revolution of students <laughs> against <laughs> the, the academic staff in our year. But because it encompasses both theirs and hers, so there's need for a joint course to this issue. My, my colleague rightly said the other time, he said a um, years back, Issues pertaining to education are fight jointly. That is, um, the ASU, the ASU, and the ASU will join yeah. first alongside with the students to, to fight and achieve that. But now, uh, there has been this case of divide and rule that the, the government has succeeded in playing amidst them. You see that um, ASU went on strike. They were answered. You know. Now, it's time for ASU. Meanwhile, they were supposed to go together then. But because these things are, they've been able to succeed with the divide In the, in the past, where they strikes all together? Yes, in mm -hmm. the past. You know, they join force together. The coalition thing, they join force together to achieve their goal. And like I said, everybody has a role to play. The HASUP has a role to play. Students have a role to play. And uh, even the federal government has a role to play. And it's, it's so sad to hear that uh, in, in a course like this, you have institutions backing out. The irony of it all is the institution of uh, the, the ASU president himself just backed out. As Okopoli just backed out. And the ASU president himself is in that institution, which is not supposed to happen. So even in I mean, ASU themselves, there's no, there's no clear structure to, to, to withstand all this pressure. That's why you see institutions packing out, day in, day out. Yeah. And if we check count of how many institutions are left in this struggle, I'm very sure there will, there will be more than nine or so. Yeah. Okay.